What are you doing here? I don't want to see the doctor. I thought I told you never to come back here again. I'm very sick. I got syphilis. You better call me an ambulance. Dr. Williams is with a patient right now. And when he's through, we're closing the office for lunch. And if you stop me from eating, I'm going to poison your next batch of pills. Poison? You can't do that to me. It's murder. You'll go to jail. I won't. But that skinny blonde pharmacist will. <laughs> Fred, you've been one of my best patients. Doc, are you sure I don't need any more treatments? Did you ever get that supplemental insurance coverage? No, they turned me down. Ah. Well, in my professional medical opinion, you are definitely cured. It's time you got back to a normal life with your family and friends. You wouldn't say that if you knew them. Remember, the goal of therapy is to resume a normal life doing things with those you care most about. If you keep spending all your nights at AA meetings, you'll end up addicted to the 12-step program. <laughs> Better that than being home all the time. If you ever get that supplemental insurance, don't hesitate to call. Nurse Haggerty will set you up with an appointment. Thanks, Doc. I will never forget what you did for me because you saved my life. I was just doing my job. Now, if you'll excuse me, I still have enough time to get in nine holes before my next patient. I want you to screen all your calls. What's your situation? Will you please stop pacing in front of that TV? Oh, it's this damn sports phone. You only get updates every 15 minutes. If you don't put on ESPN right now, I'm going upstairs to get the score of the Yankee game. You stay out of my room. <laughs> Anybody looking for me, I'm expecting company. Oh! What did you hit me for? You're getting crumbs all over the goddamn couch. Forget about it, Ma. No one's coming over here tonight anyway. I'm watching TV. Where's your wife? Where do you think? Macy's is having another sale. Oh, I hope she remembers to pick up my new G-string. They have to talk about that stuff when I'm eating. If I had to wait until you were finished eating, I'd end up being a mute. All right, come on, come on, you two. You take the argument someplace else. I'm trying to watch the movie. You've seen Clean and Sober a hundred times. I still don't get the point of that movie. Oh, come to mama, baby. That must be the pizza guy. Relax, fat boy. I'll get it. Twenty minutes, right on time. Well, aren't you one fine-looking young man? I dig you too, baby. What do you got in that box, cutie? One large pie with extra sausage. Extra sausage? Just the way I like it. And our pies are always hot. Wanna show me your van? I bet you got a big one. Mmm. Mmm. What took so long? <laughs> Only one pie? What's everybody else supposed to eat? And where's my change? Shut up! I had to tip the kid, didn't I? Hey. Fred, honey, I'm home! Oh, honey, I'm so <laughs> glad to see you. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. oh, what time is it? Oh, it's almost six and I'm starving. What's for dinner? Oh, oh, honey, order Chinese. I have to go back out. Mm. Oh, Myrna, no way, no way. Come on now. I've had pork fried rice three times this week. Oh, you have? Yeah. Oh, honey. I'm so sorry. Mm, I have not been taking care of you, have I? Hmm? Well, at least you're coming to your senses. <laughs> oh, honey. You know what? What? You are right. Order from the hokey place for a change. They make a great potato salad. Uh, no. Come on, Lola. Macy's is open until 9. If we hurry, we can get in two more hours before they close. <laughs> as long as I'm back by 11. I'm expecting a client. What client and what business could you be conducting at 11 o'clock at night? What the hell do you care? I didn't hear you complain when I gave you that DVD player for Christmas. What are you hitting me for? Because you're closed up. Oh, Joe, I thought you told me she won that money at Bingo. No, I, I told you that she got it from the guy who calls the numbers. 
Let's get out of here, Myrna. These nuts are driving me crazy. Myrna, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You've been shopping every night this week. Please, I'm begging you. When is this going to stop? Honey, this is just a special one-day sale. I'll be right back, I uh, promise. Uh, mm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Goodbye. Hey, Fred, look. It's a full moon. Why don't you go and sniff some glue? Honey, hmm? I'll be back in an hour. Bernie, how the number six horse do in the eighth at Belmont? Out of the money? Thank you. Uncle Charlie, how are we fixed for glue? Ground control to Major Tom. I want to order some egg for young. One large pork fried rice with extra duck sauce on. Put the phone down. Murder said. That we should order Chinese. Hey, let me tell you something. What are you doing? I'm serious. All you ever do around here, eat, get high, eat, and get high, get high and eat. Do me a favor. Do me this favor, will you please? Why don't you go live in a commune? You think it's funny, Joe? No, seriously. What the hell are you laughing at? No, seriously. You think it's funny, laughing boy? Bet, 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 bet. That's all I ever hear come out of your mouth. Here, here's my car keys. Why don't you go to AC? I'll tell you what, here, why don't you do me a favor? Here's my car keys. Go to AC, you can get there in 90 minutes. Get the hell out of here. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye, get out. One poopoo -poo platter. Six egg rolls. Two quarts of chicken chow mein. Six pack of Bud Light. Hey, you got any opium? How about some ecstasy? Darn it! Give me that phone! Give me the phone! Get the hell out of here! Whoa! Head rush! Hello. Hi, Nurse Haggerty. Yeah, hi, it's Fred Pitt. Yeah, I'm sorry to call on such short notice. Yeah. Yeah, I need to make an appointment with Dr. Williams. Yeah, as soon as possible. I, no, 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 no. I didn't get that extended insurance. How about cash? Yeah, great. Okay. Tomorrow, 9 o'clock. Thank you very much. You don't know the salad you've done me. Bye-bye. I didn't sleep last night, Doc. I need a drink real bad. You've been sober for four years. Why now? What happened? My family is driving me crazy. Your family? I didn't think to ask about them. Go ahead. Well, where should I start? Well, how about with your biggest problem? Well, that would be Uncle Charlie. He hasn't worked since Vietnam. Disabled? Stoned. Smokes pot morning, noon, and night, then eats me out of house and home. <laughs> Sounds like a classic case of the munchies. Don't I know it. Then there's my mother. She's a... A nympho. Sex, 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 sex. That's all she ever thinks about. Did you say nympho? Yep. Different guy. Every night. Yesterday, she even made a pass at the pizza guy. Well, it sounds like a case of low self-esteem. Perhaps I can help her. Please continue. My brother Joe. He'd bet on which cockroach crosses the room first. And his lovely wife. She exercises day and night, even in her sleep. And that's definitely the only activity going on in that bedroom. Sex suppression. Classic symptom of addictive personality. Perhaps you should spend less time in their presence. They all live with me. 
Joe's bedroom is right next to mine. And believe me, the only screaming you're hearing out of there is when one of the Yanks hits a home run. I'm telling you, doctor, they're driving me nuts. Why do you let them stay with you? Because I can't afford to pay their rents. And that's not all. Last, but surely not least, my wife Myrna. She's called the Home Shopping Network so many times, I hear they're about to give her her own show. Fred, I can see why you're upset. I don't usually do this, but I'm going to call a group session for Monday night at 8 p.m. Dr. Trey. But how in the hell am I going to get them all here? I'm a shrink, not a limo driver, Fred. How about taking the bus? Yeah, well, well, I'll figure out something, because my sobriety's at stake. <laughs> Fred, you do know that I take all major credit cards. Yeah. Thanks, Doc. I'll try to pry one of those credit cards out of my wife's hand. Nympho. Interesting. Oh, that feels good. Charlie, let's get back to Dr. Williams. No, I don't trust doctors. All those needles. He's a psychiatrist. He doesn't use needles. Is that anything like a proctriatrist? No, this guy works the other end. Oh, I had a terrible experience with a proctriatrist. He lost an instrument up there. There was blood everywhere. I've never been the same. Anybody seen my vibrator? Ah, oh, Ma, come on! We got any ice cream? In the fridge. And keep your hands off the whipped cream. I'm chilling it for later. I must have been adopted. Where the hell was I? Oh, Dr. Williams. Right, listen to me. Just come and see the doctor with me, okay? Nothing's gonna happen to you. He just wants to talk to you. About what? About your problems. I ain't got no problems. You've been stoned since Woodstock. I smoke for medicinal reasons. Now, listen to me. Either you come and see the doctor with me or you move back into the Y. All right, I'll go. Do you think you can, can prescribe some painkillers? Now I'm leaving. Wait a minute. Do me a favor. Living here for free ain't enough? Come on. Get me some ice cream. Get it yourself. Joe, Joe, you like the five horse? He looks strong. Save your money, he'll tire. No early speed. Thanks, pal. I'm a legend out here. Yeah, some legend. That's why I had to lend you money last Christmas for presents, because you lost 56 races in a row. 56 is my lucky number. <laughs> Joe D hit 56 games in a row. LT wears number 56, and I was born on May 6th. Joe DiMaggio's dead. LT's been retired for 15 years, and your birthday's on the 7th. Not if you live in Hawaii. Hey, Joe, you, you sure you don't like that five horse? Floyd, I'm telling you, do not bet the five horse. He's a dog. Don't bet the five horse. <laughs> Lola, honey, please come back and unlock me. <laughs> I'll do whatever you want. Come back, please, and unlock me. I swear I'll do anything you say. Oh no, it's my wife. 
She's on my milk truck. She knows it don't take an hour to deliver two quarts of milk, Whoa, honey. What the hell are you doing here? What are you doing here? And why are your pants down? Why are your pants down? Please take these off me, please. Mom, with another one of her <laughs> sick Before my wife finds Mom! out. Mom! I told you I do not want any more S&M sessions in my house! You're wasting your time. She already left with the mailman. <laughs> yes, hello. Yeah, where are you? Yes, where are you? And what do you want me to do with your friend here? Yes. Hang on a minute. She wants to talk to you. Hey, she hello? wants to talk to you. Hello? Yes, Lola, darling? What, now? In front of your son? All right, sweetheart. <laughs> Shut up. You're a crackpot. You're a crackpot. Shut up. Listen to me. No, you're a crackpot, too. You are definitely going to see that psychiatrist with me. That's right. Monday, 8 o'clock, you're going, Dr. Williams. And let me tell you something right now. You make one pass at him. You flirt with him one time, and I swear to God, I'm putting you in a home. I want you out of here. Uh, uh, wait. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. Here, you want me to help you out? Here, help you out. I want you out. I want you out. Your truck's right outside. The police are on the way. Police? No, no. I said I want you out. No, I'm calling no, the police. No, I'm calling the police. Out of here, crackpot. Out. Come back. Thank you so much. Hi. Hi, it's me, Myrna, <laughs> your number one home shopper. <laughs> oh, yeah, give me two of those cute ice makers. Yeah, <sighs> love them. Two new ice makers. Is our freezer broke? Um, honey, they're priced 70% off, and they make great wedding gifts. Okay, okay. <laughs> Would you excuse me a minute, please? Hey. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, hey. Honey. Oh. And who do we know who's getting married? What? What, what are you doing home in the middle of the day? I'm worried about my wife. Come on, not this compulsive nonsense again. A little shopping never hurt anybody. Okay, a little shopping never hurt anybody. Mm -hmm. This is just American Express. Well, Mern, you're I a have... compulsive shopper, Mern, and you need some help. Well, you think everybody needs therapy? I am not crazy. I didn't say you're crazy. I don't think you're crazy. Fine. But listen, half the married women in New York are in analysis. Oh, come on. They drink, take pills, shop, and cheat on their husbands. You're lucky I'm batting only one for four. Myrna, will you please go see Dr. Williams with me on Monday? No. They're having a fabulous seal at Bloomingdale's. I won't. No. <sighs> Joe, Uncle Charlie, Ma, they've all agreed to go. I'm asking you, please, will you come with us? Myrn, look at me. Please. Please. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> I'll go, I'll do it for you. That's my girl. Yeah, I remember what you went through to get sober. You remember because I couldn't have got through it without you. Thank you. I mean that, I love you so much, honey. Mm, I love you too. Oh my baby. Oh, oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you doing with this? <laughs> Your mother must have had company. Get it away from me. <laughs> far away, Gone. far away, Gone. far away. Gone. Where were we? Hmm? Oh, just one more thing, hon. Okay. Mm, 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 no, no way, no what? way you, you. What? What? You are cooking dinner this evening for us. Honey, honey, I already have a pan of spaghetti and meatballs in the fridge, okay? I just forgot to pick up some bread, that's all. That's all? Mm-hmm. And you know how much you love dipping in my gravy, huh? I do love dipping in your gravy. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> mm. Okay, all right, okay. okay. How much you need? How much you need? Well, let's see. This, this is good. Okay. Myrna? What? $200 for bread. Honey. Come on, there's this fabulous leather jacket on sale at Bloomingdale's. I'll be back soon, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Have fun.
Bye, boy. What's this I hear about a meeting Monday night? Yeah. Dr. Williams, 8 o'clock. The psychiatrist? Uh-huh. For what? Well, he thinks he can help us with our problems. What problems? Oh, I don't know. Sex, overeating, drug abuse, gambling, exercising. I can't make it. I have an appointment for a coffee and I'm at 7.30. Cancel it. Or I just might have to take that TV out of your bedroom. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> oh, wouldn't I? And just think about it. No more Knicks. No more Nets. No more Islanders. No more Rangers. Giants. Jets. No more Mats. And especially no more Yankees. Just you and Joe lying side by side with nothing whatsoever to do every single night. All right, I'll go. Eight o'clock? All right. Around the problem so it gets so big it can't handle. Pretty good excuse for getting high, right? Hey, look. No, no. Mm -hmm. so what you do is you sit down and write out exactly what you're going to tell your boss. Come on, Doc, let's go. Monday night before school. Let's go. 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 let Time. Do you have a couch in your office? Ma, don't start. Oh, could we please just hurry this up? The mall closes in one hour. And I have a nine o'clock Weight Watchers meeting. Doc, I'll bet you $50 that my uncle here can't stop eating for an hour. Great day, Dante. Oh, Joe, hey, oh. cut it out, please. Now listen to me, everybody. We've got to face this with an open mind, right, Doc? Yeah, hon. Be like your Uncle Charlie. He's open-minded. He's empty-minded. You hear that, Doc? That's why I got problems. Get off the dough, boy. What would you two do if you weren't abusing each other? I guess what your mother be doing. The question is, who'd she be doing it with? Now, what's that supposed to mean? Fred, I really need those painkillers. Shut up! Tonight, we took our first look at something we all encounter. Addictive behavior. Uh, while we all know the potential damage that drugs and alcohol can do to our bodies and our lives, there are many other behaviors that are equally destructive. Take excessive gambling or shopping, which can destroy you financially, or overeating, which can lead to heart attack, stroke, diabetes. Even an addiction to sex can have dire consequences. I'll get it. Pizza delivery for Dr. Williams. Well, look who's here! Lover boy! Come to mama! Oh, yeah. pizza for you! Mama! Just, just, just! You owe me $50 then, Doc! Deducted from my bill. Look at the Charlie! We got pizza for you! So there you have it. A typical suburban family who, like many people, sometimes need a little help getting back on track. Uh. Are you taping us? Well, yes, I tape all of my sessions. Hey, uh, everybody, look! We're on TV! I know! I quite I Move it, Loris! Hi. I'm Lola. Are you lonely? Shy? Want a good time? Well, give me a call at 212 <laughs> I can't give you anything what? but love. And what? Baby, that's the only thing I've plenty of. Okay, Mama. Baby, and what? dream a while, scheme a while. You're sure to find happiness. And I guess all 